Hello and welcome to my um, Samsung NC20 in black unboxing video. I noticed nobody else seems to have done a black model on the um, YouTube or on the internet, so I thought I'd do one as I've just received it today. I haven't even broken the seal yet. It literally just arrived about five minutes ago. I bought it from eBuyer. Um, which seemed a reasonable price of about £379. Packaging. forward to get this. I've currently got an Asus EPC701, the very first one. So I've been looking forward to getting a newer model of the netbooks. Some people say it's too big, but uh, I think it's more usable. Protector off. It's the first time I've actually seen one because um, they're not actually in the shops here in the UK. Don't make it easy to get these off the back, do they? Very glossy surface. I'll show in a bit more detail at another time. So that is it for now. I will um, let's just have a look and see what you get in the box. We get a little slip case, which is always handy. It's basically a bigger version of the one that you get for the NC10. So do the job. So I've already got a laptop bag. Samsung software disk and uh, recovery disks. You need to buy a CD drive, of course, if you want to use those. The instruction manuals. And the battery. And as I think, I've got a bug there to, to, uh, to say to Samsung. And that is, uh, you know, we get the five two hundred milliamp hour battery, um, whereas the Americans seem to get the five nine hundred, which is a bit annoying. And the laptop charger, of course, and the UK mains power lead. Well, you we can get that out. So I'll go into a bit more in depth uh, a bit later when I maybe get it charged up, or I might just get it powered up for now. But, uh, at the moment. I'll leave it with the Samsung NC20, which seem, looks very nice. Um, it does look like just a bigger version of the NC10, which I work in electrical retail, so um, I've sold quite a few of them. Uh, we've only got the um, Samsung NC110 uh, in stock at the moment, which is like a newer NC10 with a 9 hour battery. Um, but we haven't received this one at all yet, so I've had to order it from a, another supplier, as I said, e-buyer. Alright, I'll leave it there for now, and um, I'll come back to you later when I get it all started up. Okay, bye.
Hello again. And here we are back with my um, Samsung NC20 in black. Now all unboxed and uh, started up on the mains. Um, I like to do a full charge for uh, quite a few hours so um, I thought I'd just plug it in the mains and get it all booted up now. <clears throat> it's gone through all the recovery. Um, it sets up a recovery partition um, so um, you can restore it. So that only took about you know half an hour. It's all up and ready now. Um, we'll have another quick look around the actual netbook. Um, there's control lights at the front. There's a, an SD card slot which I've taken the adapter out um, on that side. <coughs> on the left hand side you've got a Ethernet port, uh, one USB, VGA, microphone and headphone port on that side. <coughs> and on the other side we've got another two USB ports the power connection port and the um, laptop lock port plus the power button which is very, exactly the same as the NC10 <coughs> screen you know it is glossy um, generally though I won't be using it um, outside so I don't think there'll be too much of a problem I had a Sa uh, Sony laptop before that was quite glossy and it was perfectly usable in the house <coughs> I like the keyboard it looks very um, <coughs> big compared to my um, my old computer, my Asus EPC, which was just a pain to use. And um, it should be a lot better on the internet with a full size screen. Well, with a decent size resolution anyway. Um, so, and uh, I've played around with the Veer Nano processor, which is the first one I've had. I hope it's a lot better than the old one, <laughs> uh, the old Veer processors. Uh, from the reviews I've read, it, it looks very good anyway. So, that's about it for now. I'll put the battery in and uh, do some comparisons in a minute. Um, but I'll leave it with the Samsung NC20 in black. And here we are back with the NC20 again. I just sort of put the battery in. So, it actually doesn't sit properly unless you've got the battery in. Which, as you can see you know protrudes from the bottom a bit because it is a bigger battery than normal um, but as I say if it gives me well from what the reviews of people are saying it's between four and six hours on this one because it isn't the American battery thanks again Samsung so oh, we'll have to give it a try but it's bound to be better than my um, um, Asus I'll just grab my Asus now to compare it So uh, there is my Asus EPC 701. So it's a fair size bigger. <coughs> As I say, it was the first one going. <coughs> the weight of my Asus was uh, one kilo. Uh, this one is supposed to be 1.5 kilos. So it's half the size again. Uh, I hope it doesn't break the handle of my bag because it's getting a bit old. Um, but um, I think the um, the extra weight is worth it. Um, as I say, because uh, just the screen size and uh, and um, just the whole specification of the lap of the netbook is uh, a lot better, isn't it? So, as I say, it's it's got a glossy lid, as you probably know, which you know can be a bit fingerprinty, but um, uh, well, as I say, it does look nice, though, doesn't it? All right, I think I'll leave it with that now. Then, so. Um, that's the Samsung NC20. Um, I'll be installing some software soon and uh, doing some tests. And maybe I'll get back to you. Uh, if you've got any questions, then um, please post. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.